Look at this. Many years ago, here in Rizal, they found some bones of rhinos okay, at the Elephant Hill. Okay, this is the first discovery in 1935. Okay, a rhinoceros lower jaw was found alongside some petrified wood in the Lia Valley by local Eustachio Dalupa. And in 1953, first visit of Gerald Helken Ralph von Cohen to the Philippines. He identified this new rhinoceros species as Rhinoceros philippiensis in Manila. And in 1957, with their second visit of Gerard Henkel R. Von Cohen Squall, first time in Kalinga, pebble tools were found. The Von Cohen Squall, described as the Kabalwanian industry, the, the first description of stone tool technology in the region and in 1971 National Museum excavation led by Jesus Peralta and Robert Fox first extensive archaeological field work in Espinosa site Barangay San Pedro Rizal Kalinga Fossils, some identified as elephant bones and stone artifacts and tectites were found on the surface of the ground. And in 1981, National Geological Study, an undefined fossil, bone, and tectite Tide were found in the same layer of the soil. Other fossils were found in excavation okay, and in 2001 National Museum excavation led by Angel Bautista an elephant tusk and other elephant bones still attached at the joints were found at the Spinoza site now known as Barangay San Pedro Rizal Kalinga. And in 2009, National Museum excavation led by Clyde Jag Jagoon. Okay. In 2013, led by John DeVos and Thomas. Ingeko, Stegodon, Elephant, and Pig Fossils were found on the surface of the ground. And in 2014, an excavation led by John DeVos and Thomas Ingeko found almost complete rhinoceros skeleton in situ. Stone tools were found also in situ. It has yet to be determined whether the tools are from the same period as the rhino. Some of the bones have cut marks on them pointing to the presence of humans soon after the death of the animal. Okay, these were the excavation team. And in 2015, excavation led by Thomas Iniko completed the excavation of the rhino fossil. Fossil of other animals were found. Stegodon, tortoise, deer, 
marstone tools, and tectites were found. Feature tale, the Rhino of Rizal, Kalinga. So this is the Ulna. So one of the two bones of the forearm. So this is a uh, Rhinoceros philippinensis. Okay. So the Ulna. So with the radius, these two bones constitute the column of the forearm supporting the heavy weight of the rhino. Nevertheless, this bone is very thin and is quite fragile. It is complete and exceptionally well preserved. This is also the radius, the other bone of the of forearm. The radius more robust than the ulna this bone is perfectly preserved the matching radius from the other side of the rhinos body is also well preserved and has already been excavated This part here is what we call the humerus. Okay, it's still part of the Rhinoceros philippinensis. Okay. It, it's the arm bone. This bone is very massive in rhinoceroses, much more than in humans due to the heavy weight of the animal that it has to support this particular bone is very important it shows a chop mark proving that some people shortly after the death of the animal tried to break it in order to extract the marrow from the bone now on the other side this is also the femur, the thigh bone of the Rhinoceros philippinensis. So if you notice, it is at the hind leg of the Rhinoceros. The largest bone of the body. This bone was naturally compressed while it was buried in the ground for 709 years, making its restoration very difficult. Nevertheless, this bone is completely preserved. Now, this is the tibia, the main bone of the leg. So, this bone is massive and looks two parallel pipes. This makes it very robust. 
the other bone of the leg, the fibula, is much thinner. Now this is the fibula, the other bone of the lower leg is mostly an accessory bone together with the tibia they lock at the ankle joint to limit the movement of the foot in just one direction because of this the fibula is important when it comes to heavy animals like the rhino we also found the scapula the shoulder bone Okay, so among all the bones on this exhibit, the scapula is the only incomplete one. So this bone is supposed to be longer by one third of its current length. But because it is a thin, flat bone, it generally does not preserve very well in the ground. Despite this, the scapula is exceptionally well preserved.